So the, the opportunity cost of sport is mm -hmm. absolutely gigantic, both in relationship, in monetary sense. Um, pursuing, it, even pursuing the rest of life. Yeah, pursuing other know. career that mm -hmm. will carry on beyond or education. sport. And mm -hmm. It's a very, very expensive undertaking. Yes. And things we can, I think many of us can understand. Back home, Allie, after baby number one, you've got postpartum. Yes. Mm -hmm. And husband's away. Yes. And you do come into some very serious financial mm -hmm. crunches. Mm -hmm. I, I just can't imagine the uh, overwhelm of that. It was it was overwhelming in a way I had I just had not expected. Um, and you're a really together woman. You're helping other people <laughs> well, get you. it together. <laughs> but this was it was very serious. very challenging. Um, I I am so grateful that um, God put us in a community like no other. Mm -hmm. When we tell people about our community, they almost don't believe us. This is your church. It's our church and it's actually and our geographic community. Yeah. 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 And, and Christians the, a lot in the neighborhood. Of, yes. And that those women who were having children at the same time, I always joke that they saved my children's lives, not mine, but they saved my children's lives. <laughs> <because> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> we would get together, uh, first we said weekly. And then it became almost every day. We would be at each other's house or one house and we would just sit and pray mm -hmm. and um, be able to witness each other and the challenges that we were going through. And they, their husbands came home at five o'clock. And on the weekends, they, I would always feel terrible to call them because their husbands were home. They're having family time. Yes, mm -hmm. they're having family time. Whereas, you know, with in our situation, there was no one coming in the door at five o'clock. And the weekends were more of me and the kids. <laughs> so it was a real challenge and... and um, Wonderful to know you're not alone right. in, in some of those right. normal things of a mom at home with kids. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, Kyle and Thomas are eight and ten now? Eight and ten. Eight and ten. Yes. Your forward has an apology to those boys, Jeff, from you. Um, yeah. When did Band of Brothers become part of your journey. I have, well, here's the, here yeah. you are with the boys. This is a current photo. Yeah. A couple yeah. of dudes. Yeah. One like mom, one like dad. Yeah. <laughs> In appearance. I brought my, my son's set of the, mm -hmm. the series, Spielberg and Hanks. Uh, this has relevance for you. Tell me where you found community to get you on a different path. Well, this was actually a, a um, small group started at our church. And we we met as a group of guys, there's about five or six guys, and we would meet once a week and we would watch an episode over whatever it is, 12 weeks. And we would discuss afterwards, you know, the relevance of that in life and, and the relevance to, in a, in a biblical sense of, you know, what did it mean? And it was a, a really cool connection, um, just how sometimes you have to go to war to fight for what's right and what's, you know, the ground you've taken and holding it. and. Um, pushing back against evil and we all those discussions that we had about being a, a family or a team or, or a part of a group that, that worked together and, and something I learned in my own career mm -hmm. you know around 2006 with my teammates Paul and Duff mm -hmm. um, we did that we did it better then as a team than any other time in my sporting career so it was a lot of relevance in that and um, it's a fantastic series I've seen it twice mm -hmm. I think the experience for any man of having spiritual and emotional support and a word you emphasize, accountability, mm -hmm. is, uh, is a treasure. And guys have a harder time getting that than the women. Mm. I mean, talking is just natural for us. Yeah. Unloading our hearts just happens with a yeah. cup of coffee or yes. tea. herbal tea. <laughs> yeah. How about herbal tea? Herbal tea. Um, you know, but for the men, it's a tougher, a tougher issue. And both of these communities, became significant in your journey. Mm -hmm. How long was it before you were able to look eye to eye and say, we are doing elite performance as a couple? I'd say that was, that was right around 2005. Mm -hmm. or it was before the, the Italy games in Torino. Um, and that's particularly why 
the book is called The Business of Marriage and Metals because it was when we started seeing our marriage as a business and skeleton as a business, and I certainly don't mean by the ones who rake in the dosh, mm -hmm. uh, the cash, but I mean as a business model and who's doing what roles and who's responsible, what are the outcomes we're looking for, that we really started to succeed. Yeah, what are the time allotments? Right. How does it all work together? Right. So it was about, yeah, 2004 or five. Yeah. Why did you write the book? That was God. I was on the treadmill on Jul in July of 2008, and that's where God meets me, is on my treadmill. And uh, I get the most amazing downloads, and it was a, literally, I don't even know how long it was. I don't know what songs were playing on my iPod, and it was clear as day. And the title, Marriage and Medals, mm -hmm. you must write this book that it wasn't that we had won everything there was to win or that we were all that. It was that there is something that you are doing in this relationship that's working that other people aren't seeing mm -hmm. and they need to see. They need to hear truth. They need to know that there is hope and that this is possible in relationship because we had seen so many fall around us. Well, as you say, we are in a divorce pandemic. We are. And uh, you you fought through the pain it's, it's got to be in God's plan. He always uses this. Always. Yeah. And tell us the doors that are opening for this message and this counsel. Mm. Well, I, I think another key thing around the message is that, like the sh pictures show, you know, the, the, the together couple sitting on the couch, you know, is that's what we all see. That's what I think what many people in society project is like, oh, we're good. You know, we put on our nice clothes and our makeup and we go out in the world and we project that everything's all hunky-dory. And, and behind closed doors, it's just scary. Right, so right. we really wanted to, to bring our closed door reality and say, you know what, even as an Olympian, even as a, an Olympic family, Olympic couple, uh, high-performing couple, we, we have that stuff too. So if it's not okay for you at home, you're normal. <laughs> you're and completely you're, normal. You're talking to uh, Canadian military couples? We are. We are. Yeah. Door open in the U.S.? Yeah. Yes, yes. God worked his way with Oprah as well. When we were on uh, visiting Oprah, there was, lo and behold, there was Canadian military, or excuse yes, me, yes. American military. Yes. And it was just another message that God has had this book and we've been continually related to military and, and sending books to Kandahar and meeting somehow repeatedly at functions with the Minister of Defense and so yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's been an interesting parallel that we didn't, we never even conceived of that we were living a similar life. Mm -hmm. You know, I would never ever compare myself to someone who's actually putting no. their life at, on the line. No, but no. it's the but, separation and right. how do we do life when we can't be together. Exactly. Right. And, uh, and representing our nation and, and fighting for, you know, our families our and, our, and our honor and our nation and things. So it's yeah. very interesting parallels. Well, this is just uh, kind of, God is enlarging your territory. Mm -hmm. And uh, even as we speak, where is the book available? Let's start there. And I, I, we need to give your website because I'm sure uh, yeah. there are people who want to hear from you personally. The book is available on our website at marriageandmetals.com. Um, and we have a number of blogs there and media and, and lots of great things that they can have a view at as God, well. So. Wonderful. Yeah. I've got one more picture of our uh, elite performance couple. It's actually your silver medal, Jeff, isn't oh, it? Yeah. But when I saw this picture, I thought, I thought this medal related to what you've worked through. And we're just thrilled rejoicing with you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. If you are in a struggle right now, don't hesitate to use our prayer line. That's why we're here. And we're